Before the pandemic, women in the EU were on average doing 13 hours more unpaid childcare and domestic work than men. What we've seen with the pandemic, which has completely upended our working uh, lives and our home lives, is that, that burden of unpaid labour for women has vastly increased. There's a study in the UK which found that families with young children are doing on average uh, a whole working week extra childcare, twice as much as they were doing before. And although men are doing more, women are doing the lion's share of that. And data from Eurofound shows that that's a very similar pattern across the EU. So we know that with this bigger burden of unpaid care work that women are doing in the home, so that's childcare, domestic work and homeschooling as well, the data from Eurofound shows that that's having an impact on women's uh, mental health and well-being, more so than men. So women were finding it much more difficult to reconcile work and family life. We know that women's jobs look likely to be more affected during this recession than the last one, which mostly affected men in the manufacturing and construction and other sectors. These are continuing uh, more as normal, but the sectors where women work, such as hotels, retail, other services and so on, tourism, are being much more badly affected. Again, a study shows that if EU countries were to invest more in the childcare and care sector, rather than in construction and manufacturing, which is what usually happens after a recession, that would create vastly more jobs for both women and men. There's a growing consensus international and EU level that what needs to happen now is a gender sensitive recovery and it's increasingly important that we need to do that now and not in the long term. The research from the EU's Gender Equality Institute shows that during the last economic crisis, only four EU member states carried out gender impact assessments before they enacted their austerity policies. And in the long term, the impact of that was very negative for women, disproportionately so. So what the EU could be doing now in the EU member states is really using the tools that they already have at their disposal. Uh, the gender mainstreaming tools, gender impact assessments, gender budgeting and so on to really ensure that the recovery responses uh, don't worsen gender equality and actually help to make progress.